Drinking alcohol has long been linked to negative health effects, and recent research further highlights its connection to cancer. According to the American Association for Cancer Research Acre in their 2020 for Cancer Progress report, alcohol consumption is responsible for over 5% of all cancer cases. It ranks as the third biggest modifiable cancer risk factor following obesity and cigarette smoking. Dr. Rajarshi Sengupta, lead author of the Acre Report, points out that excessive alcohol use is associated with six types of cancer, including head and neck cancers, esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, and cancers of the breast, liver, stomach, and colon. Additionally, alcohol consumption at an early age increases the likelihood of developing cancer later in life. The report suggests that limiting or eliminating alcohol could reduce the risk of alcohol-related cancers by 8% and all cancers by 4%. Addiction expert Dr. Adam Scioli of Caron Treatment Centers noted that while there have been debates about whether alcohol is harmful or even beneficial, it's clear now that alcohol is a toxin and a significant risk factor for cancer. Each year, Approximately 75,000 Americans are diagnosed with cancers linked to alcohol consumption. Scioli emphasizes that the more a person drinks both in volume and frequency the higher their cancer risk. Moderate alcohol use, as defined by the CDC, is up to one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. However, even moderate drinking can increase cancer risk. According to Scioli, there is no health benefit to drinking alcohol, and even low levels of consumption raise cancer risk. Public awareness of alcohol's connection to cancer remains low. The Acre report found that 51% of Americans are unaware of this link, with nearly 29 million Americans meeting the criteria for alcohol use disorder in 2023. Scioli believes there needs to be a stronger focus on educating the public about the risks of alcohol consumption. The good news is that reducing or eliminating alcohol intake can lower cancer risk. Scioli urges more public awareness campaigns and resources to help individuals struggling to moderate or quit drinking. Sengupta suggests that measures such as cancer-specific warning labels on alcoholic beverages and more effective clinical strategies to reduce alcohol consumption could help decrease the burden of alcohol-related cancers.